So let's review together one of the updates of the January 2021 Cloud Adoption Framework Landing Zone on Terraform and one of the new features is the Universal Solution Landing Zone. Universal Solution Landing Zone is one of the many solutions that allows you in this month's uh, release to basically use the same logic, the same landing zone to deploy everything, any solution that is implemented by the CAF module. So we go to the CAF Terraform uh, Landing Zone Starter repo and here I have cloned it locally on my machine and I'm having my different uh, demo uh, environment. So here I'm going to review the readme and you find all the levels that you know from the CAF landing zone. And you see that we are going to deploy all of those uh, levels. So I've deployed previously the virtual uh, hub here and the workload that I'm going to deploy will be peered to this uh, level two uh, connectivity a subscription or connectivity hub uh, inside my environment. So here I'm showing you in the same subscription, but it could also be, of course, across different subscriptions. Here you see that I'm going to take the AKS landing zone. I'm going to do a quick uh, apply and it's a level three landing zone. And you can see that I'm using slash CAF solutions. And this is just a folder where I have my AKS environment so my container my kubernetes services on 119.6 with my aks related settings here i'm deploying the virtual network so this is a spoke virtual network and i'm going to define the peering here to the networking hub that i deployed um, in another environment in another landing zone in the connectivity subscription of my environment so here while the configuration is uh, applying and we are a bit fast forwarding and we are going to the portal and here you see that my AKS cluster is being deployed, my uh, 119.6, my uh, virtual um, network spoke is deployed here and the peering that we were describing before is already present and already established here so here for the simplicity of a demo environment as we mentioned it's the same subscription but we can of course support cross subscription landing zone composition so the next step is to deploy another landing zone and you see here i'm using the same logic the same calf solution and i'm going to deploy that uh with that uh, data analytics workload so i'm going to deploy Azure Machine Learning Workspace. And while it, this is deploying, let's go and review a little bit the logic file inside the landing zone environment. So here, this is just a copy, a clone of my uh, logic. And if you see in CAF solution, and if we go to landing zone.tf, you see that we are loading the CAF module and it's uh, able to compose anything, compute, storage, network, uh, security, web application, any kind of resources that are supported by the CAF module. And this goes beyond uh, uh, what is in the CAF uh, module and in the CAF uh, landing zone. Uh, we have an add-on section as well where I can deploy my AKS application. I can even deploy my Databricks cluster leveraging my Databricks uh, provider once I deploy my Databricks environment on top of Azure. So this is really uh, it, and this is really to ease the composition from any uh, any environment of any technology. So you can take basically any of the samples that we that we provide there and customize. And let's say you want to add uh, Cosmos DB inside uh, one of the examples inside the demo. You just do Cosmos DB equal open curly braces and deploy your configuration in the same declarative way that you see here. So you see here, I'm deploying my machine learning workspace with App Insights and Storage Account and Key Vault. So this is what's being uh, deployed as we are speaking. So if you fast forward a bit and let's go to the portal, we see that uh, we're having here the machine learning uh, resource group with the uh, object inside it. Now, last one, let's review how to deploy my AKS environment. So here I have my app service environment, my app service plans and uh, my configuration, the networking I want to use, NSG definition, and the route uh, that I need to specify for uh, ASE to operate correctly. So again and again, same logic, uh, rather uh, landing zone CAF solution. The only thing that changes here is just the folder with the settings to deploy uh, app service environment.
Now this one is a long runner, as it's mentioned here. Uh, app service environment takes a bit of time, so this is why, again, we're gonna fast forward a little bit. And here is a good illustration of the composition. We're deploying everything with the native provider from Terraform, and we're also adding some uh, ARM templates to add uh, additional fields. And here you see ASP is being deployed, ASC is also on the way, and my route object is here. So this is it, the quick example of the universal solution landing zone, uh, part of CAF landing zone on Terraform.